Welcome to my cloud. In this session, we are going to look at a couple of AWS services, namely Glue and Athena. We will build a solution to query IMDb movie rating. So what are the objectives of this session? We will get a basic understanding of these two services, Athena and Glue, and uh, we create a step-by-step -step solution. We start from scratch and we build a solution to query the IMDb movie titles and their ratings. Uh, while we are using IMDb dataset, you are free to use any other dataset that you wish. Uh, prerequisites for this, uh, you need to have an AWS account and a basic understanding of services like uh, S3 admin console. And uh, remember that uh, you delete any resources that you create after the end of the tutorial to avoid any costs from AWS. So let's look at the overview of the services that we are going to use. Um, what is AWS Athena? It is a serverless uh, interactive query service. Basically, it lets you query data, which is in S3 uh, using standard SQL. You can just run queries like how you run queries on um, relational database, the same way you can do it uh, for the data that you store in S3. Um, it has got the capabilities where you can query a number of formats, such as the comma separated files or tab separated files, JSON files. And also you can actually extend uh, the use of Athena to query non-relational um, databases as well as some relational databases using federated queries, but primarily um, it's used around uh, data stored in S3. In terms of pricing, you pay for the amount of data that you scan. Typically, um, they charge around $5 for every terabyte of data that you scan. So um, if you look at the price, it's actually a pretty inexpensive tool. And AWS Glue is an ETL tool, Extract Transformation Load tool. And again, it's serverless. Um, it, it's uh, got a number of uh, features. We are going to use a couple of features in this, which is a Glue Crawler, which is used to discover the data schemas, and then uh, it will catalog them into a Glue data catalog. Uh, we are going to see this uh, hands-on so that you can appreciate what it is. Uh, besides these two, we are going to use uh, Cloud Shell, uh, which is available in some of the regions. Um, this is basically used for us to get data and uh, store it into S3. Uh, if you don't have Cloud Shell in your region, you can you can um, use uh, some other mechanism to get the data into S3. And finally, we'll use S3 to store our data and store the results. Uh, in terms of the data for this, uh, we are going to get it from the IMDB site. Um, again, uh, there is a link uh, uh, that you can actually browse through to see what are the different data sets that they have got publicly available. Um, in this case, uh, we are going to look at a couple of uh, uh, files that uh, they make it available to public, which is titles and the ratings. In terms of the solution, how we are going to build it, we start from the IMDB website and we will use Cloud Shell to get the data, the raw data into S3 bucket. Then we use the glue, uh, basically the glue crawler to crawl this S3 bucket and uh, populate glue data catalog. And then we further then use the Athena to query the S3 data using the data catalog um, that has been populated by glue. And then we are going to see these results. Let's jump into the AWS console and see this in action. Okay, I'm in AWS uh, admin console. Um, let's first uh, create the shell here. Uh, the So this cloud shell, you can actually give a couple of minutes for it to create. So it's available again in uh, some regions. You can just check out which regions it is available. And uh, if it is not available in the region of uh, um, where you are uh, working, um, you don't need to actually have this. So we are primarily using this to get the data. While it is actually uh, getting the Cloud Shell up and running. Uh, let's go to the IMDB site. And the IMDB uh, site has got uh, the data sets again i suggest you to read through it to understand what are the different data sets that they have available um, and this is the url where you can get the imdb data data sets dot imdbws.com and there are a number of uh, gz files the compressed uh, tsv files tab separated files um, and we are going to use a couple of them here the title dot basics and the ratings um, and again i encourage you to go through this site to understand the uh, different data sets and the terms and conditions etc so let's go over to this and then uh, we will try to get these you can actually download these you can right click and download this and then you can put them into s3 but we are going to use the cloud shell for this 
Okay, as you can see here, the Cloud Shell is uh, up and running. Uh, this comes uh, with uh, the AWS CLI pre-installed and we sh can issue some uh, Linux commands. Uh, let us just see if we can find any files. There are no files here. Uh, we can copy files up to one gigabyte locally into this uh, terminal. Um, and uh, let us see if we can list the bu S3 buckets here. AWS S3 LS. There is just uh, only one bucket here. Uh, so first thing first, let us get these IMDB data files. So we go to this uh, web page and uh, first thing is we copy the uh, link here. So the title.basics.tsvgz file and we will try to do a wget here. So basically this file has uh, now been copied locally here. Likewise, we copy another file, which is the ratings file. Let us clear the screen. So there are two files here, uh, basics.tsv and ratings.tsv. Both are uh, the in the gzip format. And we will try to upload these into S3. And uh, we first create an S3 bucket here. And for creating an S3 bucket, we can do it via the admin console, or in this case, let us do it via the CLI. AWS S3 MB for make bucket. And uh, we will try to create a bucket with name my Athena demo 2022. Hopefully, this uh, bucket is available. I believe it has created the bucket. So if we refresh this, we shall see this newly created bucket here. Yes, it has just created this bucket. So what we do is we copy these two files uh, into this S3 bucket. And uh, how we are going to do it is we will take this uh, basics and then ratings and we copy them into two separate folders. Um, so again, we issue a AWS S3 CP command. And the first things we want to copy is this title and uh, we copy this to the destination which is S3 bucket. give the folder name here in this case we call it as basics as the folder and uh, we give the same name sorry there's a typo here got to be a space It says it has uploaded the file. Let's just verify it. A folder uh, with the name basics is created and the file is uploaded. Likewise, we copy the second file, which is the ratings. And uh, okay, it has copied. So let's just verify it. Okay, both uh, the files have been uploaded here. Now, uh, the next step is we want uh, the glue to actually scan these files and uh, catalog them. So for that, let us go to glue. And uh, we actually choose here the crawlers. So we add a crawler and we wanted to crawl these two folders and create um, the corresponding tables. We call it as my crawler. You can name whatever it is. We want to crawl all folders. We leave a lot of things to default here. And here we choose the data store as S3. Um, as you can see here, you can choose other things as well. For this demo, let us choose S3. And uh, we specify here the path 
that we want the crawler to crawl and create the table. So this is the folder that we want it to crawl basics and we will also add the second one and just in the next step we want to add another data store and that is also S3 and in this case it's going to be the second folder which is ratings and we don't want any other data stores here and we want to create an IAM role which actually can read these two folders And uh, you can run this crawler either as on demand or hourly or daily. In this case, we'll just run it on demand. Uh, you can schedule it to run it a um, few times and then keep updating the catalog. Um, as you can see here, we can actually ask the glue to write the table metadata into a database. In this case, uh, we create a database, new database called as Athena Demo. Next. So this is the summary and uh, we finish this and we choose this crawler and ask it to run. So what exactly is happening right now is this glue crawler is going to these S3 buckets and is actually reading those files and eventually what it's going to do is it will come here and it actually is going to create those uh, two files as two tables here. So basically it will have the information as to what fields are there and where to get this information. All that metadata about these two data sources would be written here. Uh, it would take about a couple of minutes for this uh, crawler to finish its job and uh, we come back and then uh, see that uh, it has created these tables. As you can see here, it, it is stopping the crawler now. It has finished uh, crawling and uh, created two tables and it has taken 47 seconds. So if we go back to these tables here, um, it has created two tables in this Athena demo database. And uh, the first table is called ratings. The second table is called basics. And the ratings contain the T const and uh, average rating and uh, number of votes. So these are actually the uh, the columns that are there in that TSV file. Um, and also you can see a lot of other information like the metadata in terms of uh, what is the average size of each record and what compression type it is in. So all this information has been gathered and the delimiter is the tab. And as you can see it here, um, likewise, you can actually see the other table as well, which contains the basics information like the movie title, etc. What is the primary title of the movie and the start year, etc. So it means this catalog is now available. Now um, we can go to Athena and start querying this. Let's go to Athena service. Okay, uh, we are now in Athena service page. And as you can see here, you can use Athena to query the S3 data source. Let us go to the query editor here. Uh, so first things first, as you notice here, it actually gives you a warning saying that before you run any queries, you need to set up a results folder. And basically what this means is um, every query that you run in Athena uh, will get some results and those results would be stored in S3. So you need to specify where you want it to be stored. Um, so in this case, let us go to our S3 bucket and we choose the same bucket here to store the results as well, the query results. We can actually specify the encryption whether if we want to have it. And uh, let us uh, specify a folder here. So we want the results to be written into results folder here. And we save this. And uh, every time you run a query, the results get stored here. Let's come back to the editor here. So if you notice here, here we are actually having this uh, different databases. In this case, Athena demo is the database that uh, we want to run the queries against. It actually recognizes there are two tables here, basics and ratings. So if you want to see what is in this table, you can choose the preview of this table, which would show the top uh, 10 records. So it says that it has scanned 173 kilobytes of data and it's able to fetch this information as to what is this T const, which is the primary key, what is the title type and name and etc. So all these uh, 
things have been obtained by Athena after querying the S3 database based on the Glue catalog. Likewise, you can see the second table as well, which is the ratings table, uh, which actually has got just the average rating and the number of votes for each of the um, TCONST, which is the primary key which links these two tables together. So let us run a query and then conclude this um, tutorial. So we want to query a particular movie um, and then see if uh, we can get the ratings of it. So I have got the query here. Let me just copy paste it in this here. So what we are doing here in this is we want to join two tables. Um, so in this case, it is Athena demo.basics and so if you see, this is pretty much the standard SQL. Select the, from these two tables, basics and ratings, joining on this primary key. And we want to search for a title um, called Shashankar Redemption. So probably you all uh, would have seen this movie. This is a really good movie. And uh, let us see the, what is the rating for this movie. So it is running this query and it is scanning uh, the both the TSV files and uh, we will see as to how much um, data it's able to fetch it. If you see here, there are a number of titles. I believe the first one is the one that we are looking for, which is the, the Shashankar Redemption and it has got an average rating of 9.3. Let's just confirm that this is exactly the case. If we go to the IMDB and uh, let us check that that is indeed the rating that it has got. I think this is the movie we are looking at. If you see the rating is a 9.3 and it has got a 2.5 million votes. Um, so let us just confirm that uh, this is indeed the movie that we are looking at. And uh, let's just check the year. Start year. Yes, if you see this, it has got a 2.5 million votes. It has got a 9.3 rating and it is released in 1994. And that pretty much matches with what we are seeing here. So um, again, this pretty much concludes, um, you know, how you quick, easily, quickly, you can uh, query data. Um, and uh, you, there are a number of um, use cases where you can consider using it. And I like, for example, if you have got a large number of uh, web logs, um, if you want to quickly search them, um, you can see the power of uh, Athena. And uh, let's go back to the slides and uh, wrap this up. And just before that, uh, let's go to the S3 to see what's happening there. You can see the query results there. So each query that you are running here, it actually records all the CSV and the metadata here. I quickly wrap up uh, this session. Um, as you have seen, Athena helps you to query large amounts of data in S3. Um, you consider using it for querying uh, data sets that you have, probably like web logs or maybe data sets that you have got uh, for your uh, business. And uh, Consider Glue for quickly discovering the data and creating the catalog. And also understand the limitations of these two tools. They, while they do have lots of strengths, see the kind of the data sources that you have and whether these tools can be of helpful to, to you. And uh, also explore other use cases like, uh, for example, use Parquet files or maybe ORC files or other data sets. Um, and finally, remember to remove the unused uh, AWS resource. Uh, and see you in the next session. Until then, take care.